Hello. Welcome to Little Baby Bum's Story Corner. My name is Nick. Today I'm going to be talking to you about trains. Have you ever been on a train journey? They can be great fun. And do you know the different parts of the train? Well, at the front there is the engine, which pulls the train along. And then behind it are the carriages, where all the passengers sit. Sometimes there can be lots of carriages and it's a very long train. Well, today I'm going to be telling you a story about Mia going on a train journey. Let's watch together. One evening, Mia and her family were waiting at the train station. Mia spotted the train huffing and puffing into the station. They got on board and found their seats. Choo choo! The train set off into the night, puffing steam out of its chimney. Mummy and Mia were making the train actions and Max joined in. But the rocking of the train was making him very sleepy. He closed his eyes. Boo! He wasn't asleep at all. The train thundered on into the night. Shall we make some of the train actions together? Are you ready? Let's do the whistle first. So grab your handle and toot toot, toot toot. Next, let's do the train wheels going round and round. They're called pistons. Are you ready? Clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack. Shall we try and do it faster? Are you ready? Clackety clack, clackety clack. Clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack. Very good. Let's see what else happens on the train journey. Mia had had an idea. She got out Max's favourite toy shark and gave it to him. He snuggled up to it and closed his eyes. Was he asleep? No, still not asleep. The train thundered on into a dark tunnel. Toot toot! Daddy gave Max his bottle. Maybe that would help him sleep. Max finished it and closed his eyes. But no, he still wouldn't sleep. The train rushed past a tall tree. Mia looked out and saw Mummy Bird giving her chick a blanket. She gave Max his blanket and he snuggled up to it. Outside, the sky was dark and all the stars had come out. It was so beautiful. Max looked out of the window and Twinkle had come to say good night. He was getting very sleepy as the train pulled into the station. The family quietly got off and onto the platform. He was very sleepy. Mummy rocked him gently. He fell fast asleep. Finally, Good night, Max. Did you enjoy that story? It was making me feel very sleepy too. Shall we sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star together? Are you ready? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Well, thanks for joining me today in the Little Baby Bomb Story Corner and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!